Hey love, so it's time for a new lace front. This is the Vivica Fox line, and this is their pre-cut lace wig, and she is called Becky. She does have some blue highlights, as well as one of those pre-cut parts. So if you are feeling courageous, you can go ahead and cut that open, but I wouldn't advise it. There are two combs and an adjustable strap and a comb in the back. So I did part my hair in the middle because I had already had a part, which was a left part. But I'm going to try this out anyway, just with it not being parted in the middle. The best thing to do when you're doing a lace wig and you're having or you want to put a part in your hair is always make sure that where you're going to lay that wig part at, your actual hair is parted there. That allows you for a perfect, flat, seamless lay. So I'm using my Topic Hair Filler Fibers because my hair in the front is a little bit thinner than the wig and it's going to help darken my hair. And to set that, I love to use my Austi Instant Freeze, but it also helps my own hair lay down. So I'm going to go ahead and use hairspray. That's right, you guys, on synthetic hair. And apply some bobby pins because this unit had no bobby pins whatsoever. Or not even bobby pins, but not enough combs. Where they set the combs at was actually right by the part. So I would suggest them putting some combs on the actual sides. A little bit of gel just to hold my hair down and kind of like work or try to work this way. It has a lot to do with my actual part um, and where it's actually at. So as you see, I went ahead and put the wig onto the left side where my actual natural part was. I did have a braid kind of going across so it was giving the wig some height and didn't lay flat. So let's take a look at the finished look. Okay, you guys, so Vivica Fox, mm, the blue wig. This is Becky. So, of course, I had to change the part because it's actually a middle part. Though you don't have to wear it as a middle part, you can actually wear it on whatever side you want. But I had to put it to the side of my left side because that's where my actual part was at already. Um, it was kind of sitting up high in the middle, and that's because I had, like, this huge braid already right there going across my hair so it wasn't going to lay right and I was not about to take my hair out and rebraid it for a middle part so I just decided you know what I'm just going to put it on my left side where my hair is actually already parted but I will tell you I am not like a huge fan of any Vivica Fox wigs and that was like from when she first came out the caps were kind of small fitting but this one Becky is like bomb.com like for real I really do like this the blue in it is like so pretty and I know you guys can see it on camera. I was going for the purple, but I ended up getting the blue instead. But I really like this. So I think this hair is like a great dupe for like those curly wigs that I've been doing a lot of hair from Ally Express. This is like a really great dupe. It's really natural looking. It doesn't look synthetic and shiny. The hair texture looks really good. You don't really have to pick it out too much. I wouldn't suggest picking out picking it out too much because it'll get really big on you. But yeah, she, so she's a nice length. And I really like this. She is available on ElevateStyles.com amongst other units. So I am liking Vivica Fox right about now. This gives me like that life. Very, very affordable. Like I said, for those of you who ask me, can I do like a dupe for a synthetic wig, which will mimic like the curly wig. So here you have it. This is a great curl pattern. Very lengthy. And I would not suggest cutting open those pre-cut parts because they will... The cap will get much larger. So what I do is I just leave them and I put concealer on the inside as well as the outside. And I'm good with it just like that. But wherever you have your part at is where you should actually put this wig at. So you can wear it in the middle. You can wear it to the left or the right. I actually do like it right here because I can spike it up and give me like this really wild look. And especially for this hair and this color, it really does go well. So yes, you guys, the color is M1DBLU, which is blue, M1D blue, and she's available on ElevateStyles.com. I'll post all the information for her for you guys below. Let me know what you think about this Vivica Fox one pre-cut lace front. And as always, uh, stay diva and divalicious, and I'll be back on my next video.